going on everyone? Gilman with Live All These Dogs back with another video taking a look at Solo, ticker symbol S-O-L-O. -O. Um, I made a video a couple days ago and I know a lot of you guys have been commenting with updates on that so I figured with the move today it might be a good idea to make a video. Um, so we'll take a look at um, you know how it's been trading since my last video, some key support and resistance levels that I'm currently looking at within the stock based on that what we think it could do moving into the future. So real quick if you enjoy videos like this hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel, it helps me out as, as I'm trying to grow and comment down below what your thoughts on solo are if you were able to take advantage of that move today um, and I'd love to chat with you guys down in the comment section so let me hit record and we will get right into it um, so as we could see you know great day for solo overall um, up about 6.26 percent another percent after hours which puts us at about seven and a half percent for the day which is a really really good um, percent gain uh, from a daily perspective um, let me take a look at you know what exactly happened so we were trading sideways for a while um, it looked like nothing too productive was gonna happen today and then what we saw was it shot up you know pretty nicely from the 680s to kind of 730s um, you know 50 cent jump in a matter of minutes and then it um, you know calmed down a little pushed up towards 750 came back down towards view app and then um, you know came back down some more um, after the fact but still up six percent for the day so you can only imagine how much up it was actually up here i think it was over 11 or 12 percent up for the day at some point which is you know as i said pretty crazy the one thing that i do want to talk about um, that i've been seeing with solo and also kongdi because that's another stock that i was watching and um, am, am trading sometimes but you know there's anytime it goes up it is met by a little bit of a sell-off um, right, we, we I'm getting used to kind of seeing it selling off whenever it runs up. That could be because of a lot of holders and, and maybe they want to get out of the stock once it runs up. Um, but just something to point out. That being said, I still do have my position. Um, it's in the high sevens, so I'm still not profitable yet. Um, I've bought it, I think, a decent amount ago, um, and I am looking to, you know, kind of see where the stock heads now. We, the last time I made this video, we identified this bottom point as a support level, kind of coming in the high fives, 580s, I believe, 578 is the line I have. And then I drew out this line that was sort of descending, um, and it was kind of the point that the stock was unable to break through, right, from, the, from, the, from a resistance level. So we had talked about, look, we are over here. There's only a little bit more room to the downside and a little bit room to the upside. It's gonna have to figure out what it wants to do. It's already down so much, um, you know, from its highs that was that were almost twice this level, right, in the 1360s, that to me, um, the likelihood was that we would probably break through and hopefully start to head upwards, and that is what happened. Um, so, you know, if I were to take a trend line, kind of start over here maybe, and then kind of just draw it up, and we'll kind of see that, you know, we are making higher lows in, in you know, overall and then if I um, so this isn't technically enough data to really draw this upper line um, but we can we can definitely go ahead and just kind of do that and see um, you know how this plays out just to get an idea of what resistance and support could look like in the future now the one thing that I will say um, from a I'll, I'll draw another horizontal line here at 750 just because the stock has really kind of struggled to break through that level right so we struggled to break through that today um, right there um, and then we struggled in pre-market a few weeks ago and then once it was above it right that level acts as a support so to me it's a great pivot point to kind of keep in mind um, as we were approaching that level again right here back on 12.2 right the stock tried to run up it found support in the seven in the 750s ran up and then fell and then couldn't break back into the 750 so that 750 is the first level that i'm sort of watching um, what the support coming from this line up um, and then you know we've got more support points coming or excuse me more resistance points coming right here let me draw another horizontal line kind of right there um, as we could see you know pre-market we try to break it um, that's around the eight dollar level um, similarly right there resistance couldn't quite break through it um, what you'll find with a lot of these resistance points is they used to be a support point and then when you break below it then they act as resistance because you're not able to kind of make it back up so my first level of uh, resistance kind of based on the hourly chart is that 750 level and then we've got the kind of eight dollar level as we see from from previous hour uh, uh, previous indicators on the hourly chart. And then let's take a look at the EMAs um, on the daily chart and we'll see kind of how the stock's been doing. 
So what we see here is um, the stock did close above the 8 EMA today, which was at 684. Um, we bounced really nicely off of this 34 EMA um, on 1214, which I think was before I made my video, right? And then also on 615, where our low was 614, um, and 34 EMA was 618. So I talked about that, I think, in my previous video, watching for that bounce. That bounce did happen on Monday, so I really like seeing that. Um, and moving forward, I would really like it if the stock could stay above the EMA, right? That's something that I like seeing on the daily chart. And then on the four hour chart, um, what we've got is, you know, the moving average, again, the 50 day moving average kind of acting as support on the four hour chart. It was acting as resistance for a while, right? If you see this blue line right there, hitting up against it, um, you know, hitting up against it, hitting up against it, hitting up against it. And then now that we're above it, um, it pushed up above it. And then when we came down, we bounced right off of that 50 period moving average. So that's another point that I'm watching, right? So just to kind of wrap it up, we've got the 750 resistance, 780 or 798, basically 750 and $8 resistance coming up. We've got support down here. I think this line should hold up as support if the past three days are any indication. We are making higher highs, higher lows, which is a great kind of trend for a stock. Um, as I said, I'm in the high sevens. I'm shooting for the nines right now. It's a cheap enough stock that I can continue holding it in my portfolio. If it crashes and burns, you know, maybe if it goes through all the technicals that I just highlighted, 8.21.34, all those EMAs, goes through this line and starts hitting that support in the 580s again, I might look to exit, but until then, I'll probably be holding. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys are in solo, if you guys are holding solo, and I'd love to chat with you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day. And until next time.